Hi everyone, it's Gail, and I am going to have a play today. This is my little digital, what did I call it? Vintage family photos, I think is what I called it. And um, I've been wanting to play with it, and so that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to try a couple different things with it and see how we do. So I would like to say hi and hugs first to Denise, designed by Tunder. Renee and Sunday. Thank you so much for watching and your kind comments. Okie dokie, let's play. So I had one idea, which was to take one of these and I'm thinking journal card-ish. So what I'm gonna do is do this one because it's sideways. Um, yeah, I think I'll, do I want to do that one? Now I'm, I'm second guessing myself. You know what I think I'll do is I'll do this whole page this way and see what happens. I guess if, if it doesn't work well, then I've, then I've used up a page of paper that's not going to work. Okay, so here's what I was thinking is I was thinking if I put that on to cardstock, and then if I take glossy Mod Podge and go over the top, and then if I cut it with these jiggy jaggy scissors, it might make it look like it's an actual photograph. <laughs> I don't know. I just thought I'd play with it. Um, let's see here. Do I want Mod Podge underneath? I don't know. I'm just gonna I'm gonna jump in and go for it, I guess. Okay. Now it might curl, but if it does, what I'm gonna do is then I'll just um, if it curls, I'll put it under a book or something to flatten it out. I find that works pretty well. Let's see. Ugh. Well, obviously, I haven't been into this Mod Podge in a while. Yuck. <laughs> Excuse me while I... Maybe it's never been opened. It's still got, like, plastic on it. There we go. Okay. I'll have to get some... Um, I like to put wax paper on when I put the lid on so it doesn't stick. But anyways, let's see... Let's see how we do. Okay, I'm gonna try to just put a thin bit on this. Oh yeah, it's gonna curl. Oh well, we'll see. See if we can do it kind of quickly. So maybe should have done half and then the other half. I don't know. I can do it quick enough. Let's just see. Let's just see what happens. Play day. Play day. Total play day. Put another bit down there. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to stick this on there. Like that. Okay. Maybe we'll use, oh, excuse the reach, this thing smoosh it down. Okay. I wanted to do this first so it could dry while we're doing other things. Well, I didn't get enough on the edges here. Okay. All right. We'll see. Okay, so there's that. Then I was thinking if I just put that over the top to see. I don't want streaks though. Am 
I don't know how that one's going to work because it's kind of half and half. <laughs> I love having a play, though, and just seeing, you know, nothing ventured, nothing gained. That's what they say. I don't know who says that, but they do. And I agree. Just give it a whirl. If you have an idea, give it a whirl and see what happens. And like I say, on this particular project, if it doesn't work, I've wasted a piece of paper and a piece of cardstock. Not the end of the world. So I had a lovely morning this morning. I called my brother. Today was his birthday. Um, had a nice catch up. They were just on a trip. It sounded amazing. Um, they took a, a cruise out of Hanoi, Vietnam. Yeah. They're, they're quite the travelers. They love the kind of the world traveling. My sister-in-law's from London, so... They've been to, of course, Europe many times, but they've been all over the place. I don't know if this is going to work, people. It's kind of buckling. Well, we'll just see. We'll just see. Let's get... Oh, I'm working on trying to get out a baby wipe, and more than one wants to come out. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see what it does. Okay. That's done. And maybe what I'll do is just put this little... I'm going to put that on there. That'll work. That works too. Just something so that the lid doesn't stick closed. Okay, I'm going to set this aside and we'll play with other things until then until that dries. Okay, so I have this that is um, from one of the Roxy Weekly Challenge. Um, one of her things, and I was thinking it'd be fun to put like that one, maybe. Okay, I think I'll put this one. And decorate that up a little bit. I've just been dying to play with these. It's basically it. Just, just kind of fun. great size. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to put a little of this on the whole the whole kit and caboodle as they say. Let's see. And this will flip out so I might want to put some coffee dyed paper on the inside. And then they, that's writable then. And then this will be on the other page. So we'll kind of deal with it later. So, yeah, you know, I'm in Montana and my brother is in Florida. So it's tough to get to see him. It's like he said... And maybe we'll get to see each other someday. <laughs> but um, he's kind of hard to get to. You have to f fly into one city and then drive to his town. And I don't know if we're quite up for doing that anymore. It is funny how your world gets smaller, isn't it? As you get older. Some of you want young folks don't haven't experienced that yet, but okay. I think what I might do is kind of put this 
over to the side. And I want to put something here. And I was also thinking would it be fun? I don't I hope they're in here. Maybe they're in my in my other you just look. Oh, yep, this is what I was thinking. Were these gauges, but I kind of want a clock. Are these all gauges and not clocks? Yeah, kind of. Oh, there's one that's a compass. That might be kind of cool. Okay, I'm also going to, I think I have Tim Holtz clocks, but they must not be in here. Nope. Clocks would be a bit better size, maybe. I don't know. Oh, I cleaned out my tin. I cleaned out my Tim Holtz drawer and put it all here so I could access it. Um, do I have a Tim Holtz problem? I think I do. I'll own that. <laughs> I do like my Timmy stuff. Oh, well, I don't know, but I want that anyway because there's some non Timmy stuff in there I want to play with too with these. Okay, let's see. So that, but I want, let's see, north, south, east, and west. I want something right there. Like a ticket or something like that. Let's see. Ooh. Maybe like... I don't know if this is too big. Move that down like that. Something like that. I think that's good. Thanks for being here crafting with me today. Just, just have the day. Let's see, this video will air on Sunday, and we're supposed to be having snow about that time. How's that for end of March nearly, and still we're going to have snow? It's like, really? <laughs> Gosh. I'm so ready for spring, but gotta gotta get through the the winter and um we really can use the moisture so I sh I shan't complain. Okay, and then that kind of right there and this down here. Uh, art glitter glue. That's what I want. Okay. And look at that. We'll have another piece of ephemera that is all decorated. Can come out of the to-do box. You know, I've been kind of working on that a little bit. Trying to pare down my to-do box. So, yeah, we are... I'm doing some videos, and then we're going to watch little March Madness later on this afternoon. Okay. I'm liking that. What would we like to do on the other side? I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of 
I'm looking around at stuff here, seeing if there's something that jumps out at me that needs to go. Whoops. Knocking things. Maybe a thick piece of uh, washi. I haven't done my sewing on, that's not washi. I haven't done my sewing on the pages we made yesterday, so I can't show you those. But I was wondering if we have something kind of thick. That might be nice on there. Let's see. We've got some here as well. Oh, what would that look like on there? Ooh, I like that. Let's do that. That's from Paper Baker Creations. So, and I my plan is tomorrow. I don't I don't really have a have an idea what I want to do for Mixed Media Monday. So I am in need of the vintage looking um, decorative tape. And so I think I might do that. Like that. I'll just flip that up and over. Okay. nice okay I'm gonna call that decorated but isn't that cute with that little couple I love that all righty then let's how's my coming along oh I think it's gonna work look how shiny they're kind of bumpy but that's okay I'm not worried about that okay what else did I want to do? oh yeah I wanted to do this so let's uh, move a few things aside so that I have room, but I was thinking it might be kind of fun to, to like do, um, a little, um, like a notebook type thing. Use this for the cover. Why is that? I maybe could use her. my bits and bits I don't really want to um cut them out though till I know what I'm what I want to do with them you know okay okay little girl let's see I'm done with that I think yeah I kind of kind of got some bits and pieces out and prepared for my video before I called my brother because I didn't know how long we would chat, but he's he's my half brother, and he's twelve years older than me. So, but doing pretty good, you know. A few challenges along the way, as we all have. some things. This is cool. I thought I had this as a scrap and I thought that might be kind of neat to Oh yeah, that's going to be cool. Okay. So I think I want this to be as long as her, maybe a little bit longer. So I'm going to fold that right there. Now 
I'll just use the edge to theoretically fold it straight. Okay, so then in there, let's put this and this. Don't want it any longer than that. Okay, put that in there. Just a couple of scraps of coffee dyed paper. And then maybe I can do this just in half. Eight and a half, so go four and a quarter ish. This one's gonna be just have a little little lip at the top. Like that. Okay. So I'm gonna go like that. That, that, that. And then I'm gonna go like that. Put that together and then put that there. And put her here. And what I was, oh, let's see, how wide is that? Oh, that's good. That's going to fit on a page just fine. Okay. What I really wanted was I wanted like one of these. I've just put an order in for rust paper scissors again because I love their stuff, but I don't have one of those. So, I was thinking, would it be kind of cool to just, let's see, to just use one of these at the top. And that can just slip into a journal, have lots of writing pages, lots of sort of variation in sizes, and that's fun. So, yes. Yeah, rust paper scissors. I love her rusty bits. So, gonna do that. That's another fun piece. Then I was looking at these. These um, she had sent me when when she sent the um, uh, when she sent the Etsy share and. I love how this stacks up, how she made this stack up. But I was thinking, do I have a picture to go kind of on there? And I think, I think our, our baby would work. Yeah. Okay. So I'm very happy to be playing with this because you know what's the good of having it all printed out when you're not you're not playing with it. So oh my goodness, if she isn't perfect on there. So cute. Okay, let's I'm gonna grungy her up a bit and a bit more than normal because because with the rusty bits and everything, it's all so grungy. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to just put a little couple of creases in it. There we go. Okay. get her on there. Just easy peasy to just glue stick them on there too. So yesterday my friend Lynn came over and we had a great time. Oh my gosh. 
She's just the best. I love her so much. And, oh, I missed her while she was gone. So, um, we got together. We had a big play. It was a fun day. So, she's working on a slow stitch journal cover. Um, I did fussy cutting, which is going to come in handy here in a second. Okay. So, now... We can put this back together again in all its cuteness. I'm not very coordinated at these, but I think they're cool. <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yes. Okay, I'm going to move it down a little. I don't want it to be on her cute face. So, super cute for a grungy journal. Love it. Okay. I think we might have to, once I get my order of these, we might have to make this. Make a, so I might put that with my idea journal, actually. Okie dokie. Then, the other thing I was saying, I did, I did some. Fussy cutting. This is Paper Baker Creations. Envelopes and tags and stuff. And I was thinking like some of these. Like maybe even that one. Do I have a tall one that would go? I mean, she'd be cute on there. Let's do something different here. I am going to with her we're going to do a little something different. We're going to fussy cut her out. pumpkin little relative that I don't know who it is. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to see her little white dress against the background. Oh, yeah, one of my brother's grandkids, grandsons, is um, graduating this year. It's like mine. So that's kind of fun. They're the same age. Okay. We just about got it here. Okay. Oh. Did a bad job on her little leg there. There we go. Oh gosh, she's the perfect size. Okay. Kind of making bits and pieces, aren't we? I should grab my to-do box. These were the ones that I had in mind. These little projects. So, oh, I bet you our thing is ready to cut now, too. Okay, and on her, I'm just going to go a little tiny bit on the edge just to make her stand out from the card a little bit. Okay. 
she looks like she has a skin knee all the better and she's just standing in those little flowers <clears throat> I don't know that I want anything behind her either. I think I'm just going to put her down and then I'm going to find a fun word for her. Like if I had the word pretty or something like that. Or kind. She looks like a kind little girl. Then there's still room to write there. Let's see. Um, oh, I have that over there. Okay, let's see. Let's see what the words could be good for her. Oh, be gentle with yourself. That's cute. This is from um, Pink Monarch Prints. Remember, stay positive. Yeah, I think be gentle with yourself is sweet. Let's do that. the edges a skosh okay I think we'll just go right here fun that's a sweet little card Okay, let's check this out. Let me move. Let me move a few things. Scooch things up a bit. Give myself some more room. Okay. It's mostly dry. And it is shiny. I don't know if you can tell very well, but it is. And so then these are Creative Memories scissors, and they're called Antique, and they're just jiggy-jaggy. And so I was thinking to cut these out just like and have them look like an old photo. Might not be dry enough. Okay. Oh my gosh though it worked you guys it looks like I mean it's a little journal card but it looks like an old photograph because it's got this shiny I'm gonna do just the very edges It's, it's got some lumpy bumpies, but I'm just going to go ahead and say that gives it character like it's been, you know, in a box in somebody's closet for many, many years. Oh, that's fun, though. Okay. 
I'm thinking I'll just go down this side maybe. I rarely use the glossy Mod Podge, so this is a good way for me to use it. These scissors aren't the greatest, you know, they're kind of, um, they're not super sharp or anything, and so a little difficult, but, but yeah, I'm just thinking of using these as, as journal cards, because, I mean, <laughs> cool. I love it when you have an idea and it actually works, you know? scissors hurt my hands too but I use them so rarely that it's okay okay let's see where am I at I've, a lot of the pictures of me as a little kid are this kind of photo that, um, you know, has the jaggedy edge. Okay, just kind of nip the edge of this if I can. Oh, needs a little extra glue. Okay. We can do that. Let's see. I'm going to go here. So I feel like I need to find a better way to initially glue down the, the pictures. You know, maybe I... Maybe what I do is just um, cut them and do them individually instead of the whole sheet. I don't know. Might have to work on that. But all in all, I'm really happy because I think they it turned out like I had in my head, which, you know, isn't always the case. So they need a little extra, does this one, this one's okay. But some of them need a little extra glue, like this one. So I'm gonna just use art glitter glue and go around the edges. Okay, oops. 
along that corner. This one must have been on the edge that I Mod Podge first and it dried out a little bit. Gosh, I'm excited about that. That actually worked. It's awesome. Okay. Got to do a little tweaking here with the glue, but other than that, it worked. Yeah, I think I can't Mod Podge them. I have to have to do them one at a time, I think. One. This little dude, he's well stuffed down. It's got a corner. This corner. Okay. How about this one? Good all except for this corner. Did I, feel, did I feel like that one was pretty good? Oh, maybe the corner. Well, those are pretty fabulous. I'm excited. Oh. There we go. They're all, all nice and glued down. And then it's just going to be like this one. I'm going to... Um, do a little distressing is all. How are we doing time-wise? Not too bad, okay. So I'm gonna just set these up at the top of my table to dry out a bit more. And I will distress those later. Okay, um, let's. Let's look at this giant packed, ever so packed. Ooh, that could be fun. What are these? These, I think I did these last time I um, did a scrappy Saturday where I used up scrapbook paper. Let's see if we can use pictures on those. have left this little guy he'd be good on a um, on a journal card this one could work this would be a good journal card too that one could work mm, I think this one's too big too big for anything there be a good um, journal topper though I think noticed in old photographs often they're in front of a house or in front of a car I think in those days if you had a house or a car you were pretty darn proud of it okay ooh I like that Get the flower on the side yeah that could be pretty simple so I think that's what I'm going to do. Just give that a little on the edge.
Ooh, and perfect to write on on this side. It's a big old fat journal card. I like it. It is, oh yeah, fits on there just fine. Just fine and dandy. Put that there. And then do I have, oh, I want some of my old looking tape. I definitely think I need more. I don't even know if I have any in here. So, let me look. Aha, I do have a bit, but I'm gonna make some more for tomorrow. Okay. Good, because I think I want some old tape maybe there and then like maybe at the top or something. Maybe there. Anyways. Glue stick. That's what I was looking for. big picture the wedding picture might be a fun journal topper I'm a thinking okay so with that then I want to put some of this on there it's a little wide maybe this yeah it's a little wide but We'll just take a bit off. Like so. Okay, so then. I think I want I'm going to put it crooked. And then just a little piece. Cute. Okay, I think I want um, a little slit or something up there. I'm not feeling my Euro punch, but I think this one might be good. Oh, the uh, tape doesn't want to. Where's my little scissors? My The tape doesn't want to cut. There we go. Okay. Oh, that's fun. Very different. Okay, that goes in the stack of duns. Um, let's slide these over somewhere. Okay, what about you? And I figure if I don't like it on the tag... That's okay, it's cut out for another project along the way. Okay. Gosh, I have little bitty jaggedy crumbs all over me from cutting out those pictures. Get those off. Okay, I was thinking for this one. I like it, but 
and I want I want more on there than that I think um something down there huh Oops. sometimes just inking and thinking helps Very, it's very springy paper, so that'll be fun. And gosh, I can't believe how great those pictures turned out. They're drying over there, and I'm just, I just keep staring at them. I love them. <laughs> it's really fun. I just, you know, because when you're thinking about something, it's like not necessarily, I don't know. You don't know it's going to work. I don't know it's going to work. What do I want to... What am I thinking here? Got some bits in a in my little, my little jar here. That doesn't go quite right. This isn't bad. And then what? Here's a lovely, but I don't think I want that color. I like that. I just got to figure out something else to put kind of there. Um, be a flower maybe I don't know I have something kind of small enough first of all that's upside down <laughs> it's too big um, what do I have I almost feel like I need yellow. I've got something yellow in here. I can move this over here. I could go down here with the flower. I think I'm going to do that. I could do this all day. I better check my time. Okay. Okay, let's get the picture down. Get it straight, dog on it. Yeah, that's better. Okay. And this. That's one that'll gouge your glue stick. Okay. And that one I feel like needs the bigger punch. 
needs the Euro punch. Okay. Am I happy or do I want a word? I feel like I might want a word. Okay. here this is these are from Nancy's fancies and I was wondering about putting that right kind of right there I think I will Nancy's fancies I think that's a fun name for a shop Gosh, I'm still so tickled with those pictures. We used up a good bit. We only have a half a dozen pictures left. I have to reprint, won't I? Okay, there's that one. Alrighty then, where are we? Oh, yep, we're almost there. So I'm going to go ahead and scooch things over and we'll take a look at what we did. So what do we have left? We just have, just have a few. This is the only full sheet left. So that is awesome. More to play with later. There's some great ones for journal cards there. Let's see, this guy has to go back in the to-do. But we got a couple of them done. Okay, so here's these that we did. And journal cards, they will be just little. This will be fun to tuck in just a little pocket, these two little girls. And we just did this one. And that one did this little sweet girl. We embellished the front of this a little bit. We made a notepad with this one and we decorated this little pocket. So there you have it. Thank you so much once again for, um, for crafting with me today and trying something new and different and um yeah and um I will try I don't I haven't done much of linking the actual item but I'll give that a try to link this this digital to the to in the description box so thanks for crafting with me today everyone I hope you have a grateful day and we'll just see you in the next video bye